got anything. Say you all. Who's this? Rocket Raccoon. He's such a G. Groot. I got Groot. America Chavez. That's cool. We're covering all the bases in regards to ethnicity. for selling these over there. Thought it was a Walmart exclusive, guess not. <laughs> World smallest Hot Wheel. The GC Hunter. Oh. Oh, that would have been cool. Not a super, but that would have been cool. But they got some cool rides just up here. Alright, there you go. Some cool back. Oh, is that a Jetta? No, it's a Lexus. Hmm? It's a Toyota. Corolla. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, a Super. Nothing new. Let's go to the back of the pack. Oh, that's it. not getting that one nine pack I was looking at. I may stop and get it on the way home. Exclusive uh, exclusive GTI was cool. Not a Tostada. Meth meth casting going well. Just looking for Hot Wheels. Oh, Looks like low stock. Yep. <laughs> you didn't get hardly anything in here today. It's been a quiet year, but there's a oh, that's cool. Look at this old school school bus. The Lincoln stock car. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this matte day glow pink. to see all the valentine stuff out in january because it's actually the largest month for divorces so <laughs> good luck for everyone let's see what old dollar tree's got oh it's snowing whoa i mean whoa that's not oh look at this that's a little bit beetle there Find a chase today. All the oh, they're all organized. They're all organized. Oh no. Oh no. No one's been here. They're all organized. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's not the way to do it. The organized part of it kind of sucks. Okay. Missing one from that set. The 54. Looks like they got some new ones here under the shelf. Barbie for you guys who like Polly who likes it. <laughs> There's that, that SVO Mustang. That thing is really, really cool. The 80 set. The new 80 stuff coming out looks really cool too, guys. Let's see more. Oh. Two Teslas. Man, you guys have not bought those yet. You need to get on it. Right. Ford Mustang, more monsters. And this is, wow, Cyberpunk.
appreciate Joe Riley. Look cool. Yeah, we'll just start left to right. One day they'll have like a Datsun 510 or something in these color shifters. Mm -hmm. Pass, Mustang, spare motor, demo destruction. Treasure hunt. Is it a Roger Dodger, I think? $12.99. Lord have mercy. Oh, this is new. New character card. Crash Bandicoot. Character cars are going out. Oh, there's Care Puppy. Paw Patrol. Ooh, that box. Ooh. Good morning. Let's see what is this. Where are these going? Hey, well. I don't know where they all go anymore. I think I'll just hang them up here. At least they're hung up. Oh! I'm gonna put this on the peg for someone. <laughs> Where though? Where do they go? Hot Wheels Basic. There they go. Just hanging. Swinging. Maybe not leave it so obvious. Put some other cars up there. Oh, this is cool. Their hitching hauls are tight. They have a couple good choices. I don't know where those go either, so I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit. They, again, these are vendor monitored areas or vendored areas, but um, so the vendors really should be the ones cleaning it up. Not me. Tight. Yeah. Hot Wheels Scrabble. Oh wait, that's not Hot Wheels Scrabble. <laughs> oh, somebody stash. Uh, oh, there's a whole bunch of cars in there. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh man. Nissan. Oh, any more? Any more? Just this thing just sitting in there. They're trying to keep that too. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, what do you do, Walter? Do you put it back? Or keep it? I have them. I don't need the cars, so. I'm gonna put him back, but I'm gonna make sure he knows it was there. I'm even gonna throw a Raisin Express in. Yep. Just gonna add that to whomever stack. <laughs> All right, next stop. Lord, I hope whoever it is watches my channel, but I neatly stacked your cards and added a treasure hunt for you. <laughs> hope all is well, man. Peace. Ooh, it's hard times out there, folks. Those 2023s aren't really dropping yet. Here's some 9 packs. Oh, is that a GTI? That's a cool exclusive. 
thank heavens all those sooner those Lambos and and anything else as well. Uh, anything else? A couple ways to get it. A couple ways to get it. Let's see what else. That's a pretty good one. Decent. I did find one at Ace the other day that had all licensed cars in it. It was pretty rad. It was cool to see. Yeah. Post holiday. Oh, they didn't buy up all the Hot Wheels skate? No. I thought those things were in. I thought people loved them. Ransacked. Hmm. All right. Guess I'm hoping Target's got something. Well, dudes, Target. It is Target. Sweet, they got color reveals. Oh, this one will take the time to organize these. The one on the clock's just like, I gotta, I'll get it done. Look at that, they still got two Christmas ornaments. Oh, we'll leave them here. All right, O'Reilly. Zone and a really cool looking Jeep here, too. Truck, ambulance. Where's the thing that goes inside? All right, dudes. I'm at not my local drugstore, but a drugstore I know that has Hot Wheels. So let's see what they got. Let's grab one of these too, because they smell delicious. International cases. Skull shaker.
What's good, fam? Let me guess. New year, new you? Yeah. Could definitely could definitely be a new year, new you. If uh you know, get yourself some new duds. Slide on over to into the AM. Use my code. Get that extra 10% off. I saw what the new drops look like. They're pretty tight. And I'm, I, I'll be real. Like, I don't love all of them, but I love the majority of them. That's pretty tight. So, um, I bet you guys will, too. And the bundle deals are still there. Uh, you know, and they offer more than just t-shirts. So, take a second. Just click the link. You don't have to buy anything, but I'm pretty sure you'll be stoked if you do. So, uh. Yeah, do that. Man, new year. And uh, a lot of new cars dropping. See a lot of new Hot Wheels and stuff. Um, new cases, new international shippers. Obviously some new premiums coming out, but I was happy to go hunting the other day. And um, I guess it was really the last hunt of 2022. And uh, found some some cool stuff, you know. Um, stopped at what, like O'Reilly's, AutoZone, little drugstore, Walmart, all that stuff. Uh, here, I'll show you what I got. Stopped off at uh, oh, at the little drugstore. Like I say, man, you know. Holler at him, let him know. Like I'm a collector. Pardon me. Not. Not some weirdo who just keeps coming in here weekly, you know. I'm I'm a collector, blah blah blah, yada yada. Nice to meet you. Really nice group of young ladies um, that work at this little drugstore, and I was able to cop real cool little treasure hunt, you know. And I love this little '58 Impala. I mean, it's beautiful. The artwork, it's an art car, a with the letter. But look at the wheels. They're skulls, you know. It's I figured with all that Tampo deco, they could have finished the front and the back, but they didn't, so whatever. But I did, I scored that, so that was a good pickup. Um, oh, went to um, O'Reilly's, stumbled across the 930. Cyberpunk, that dude's insane looking. Stumbled across that, that's always a good pickup. Um. Went to Goodwill, um, went to go try to find a subwoofer, the big homie, uh, hooked me up with surround sound because he was kind of like, la I think he was laughing inside at what I'm working with as far as my, my home the system goes. I'm in a much smaller house and, and, uh, when I left Colorado, I got, I gave away a bunch, I threw away a bunch too. I just, 26 years of life just so anyway he hooked it up so when i went to go find a subwoofer which i did not but i did stumble across a hess truck i'm really stoked to always find these they light up and stuff if you can see it um it's on right now goodwill does all the good stuff all the good stuff um i did it didn't come with the car that should be in the hatch but i'm not too bummed not too bummed. Hey, dude. So, found out at Goodwill. So, don't forget to check your Goodwills. Like I say, guys, you can stumble across some cars. I found Ferraris at Goodwill. Um, but, the majority of my hunt was, um, was some stuff at the grocer. And, with that, we should probably start the segment. Shit you buy when the pegs are empty. But, what I did find, I went to Albertsons, and uh, I won't include this in the scope of shit you buy when the pegs are empty. I'm really into these service vehicles right now, and this MBX Fire Dasher is a great example of one the shit you buy when the pegs are empty 
I don't even know what this is. All right, so I bought the Hitch and Hole Swamp Raider. $7.99. Okay, but it has crocodiles and alligators. There's a boat. Let me drive the boat. You guys see that dude wheeling in the boat? That little trolling boat of his, that aluminum one? That was insane. But the reason I bought that is because um, it was buy one, get one free at Albertsons and or Safeways. So I picked up the Dino Digger, too, as we go. That's pretty cool. I mean, you get a T-Rex skeleton and, I mean, you get all sorts of cool shit. Uh, 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 not a front-end loader, but uh, Digger and who's that dude? We get the dude, he's got, he's glassing something. He's looking afar. I don't know. But, <laughs> you buy some, I buy some random stuff when the pegs are empty. And it is apocalyptic post-Christmas. So, at a couple Albertsons, I did really find some really cool scores. And I think in order to, um, for you to enjoy those, I, I've got to give you a little history. So let's talk about Matchbox. Matchbox. Matchbox, the sleeper brand. Um, obviously, Hot Wheels acquired them uh, some time ago. But Matchbox, you know, they're the real OGs. You know, they, they were doing it before Hot Wheels. And uh, what happened was Hot Wheels hit the scene, started using like this crazy guitar string as a lower friction device and these wider low friction plastic wheels so they were crushing it and, and and they were a lot more durable matchbox had these chintzy wheels that were obviously um not up to par so what ended up happening is you know they wanted to, they wanted to catch up to the rest of the field so they created these new wheels called super fast and super fast they created these wheels to try to, you know, again, to try to uh, really, really compete with the rest of the brands. But what ended up happening is most of their cars couldn't accommodate, their castings couldn't accommodate a larger wheel because they were using those little skinny ones. And so only a couple, only a couple cars got them and some of them that got them. It looked kind of weird, but sometimes it worked out. So, uh, so as, as it, as it made more sense and they created new castings, they were cut for what they call their super fast wheels. Now, they were super fast for a short while, but other brands, um, gosh, the Corgis of the world, obviously, Hot Wheels, who else was out? Like, I think Majorette was out back then, too. They all produced a like wheel, but probably were faster than a, than a Matchbox. So, super fast thing kind of lost its, its meaning, and they just kind of did away with it. So... And uh, with all that, as a collector, you know, you start getting your favorite castings and stuff, and you realize how unfinished they are, so you really want to find a better product. And so Matchbox knew this, too, and saw all the other brands doing a premium line. So they, they wanted to do their own, so they, they brought back the super fast thing. But it was, here I got an example, um, it was on a skinny card. And it would come with the box like uh, Matchbox used to be sold in. And it, you still have your box options for now, which is really cool. Because they take up light, less space and easier to store. And picture on the outside lets you know what's in there. You never really have to open it. it it's a sensible packaging for me. Um, but, um, so with that, they, they, they did these, but they were on a slim card. and, and uh, But they were still upgraded product. Uh, rubber wheels, uh, more finished product. That's not quite exactly of it, but a, a decent example of what it would have looked like. And then in oh, I was like oh four maybe, um, yeah, like oh four or whatever. So they did all those. They brought them back. It was clean. But then like twenty nineteen, I believe, is when they brought back the super fast name again. Because I think it was like oh four to oh nine for second time around but the third time around they reintroduced it and um and let's see if i got the pioneers of it i do um the super fast series it became a premium series and it was a it's 
it, it's a blend of uh, the moving parts, which is a great price point. It's a $3 price point for Matchbox, and you get moving parts, which is cool. I think there's a lot of value or banging your buck there. Even more banging your buck when you get into what was the super fast collection. Um, again, you see it with the box and uh, moving parts as well. And it's kind of a blend of the main lines and or the moving parts stuff. So they don't all have moving parts. But this was one of the first that they introduced for that collection. So one of the first of their premiums. Um, what else do I have? And that same set was the Volvo. This was cool. This is one that doesn't have moving parts. But you can see just a really cool livery and treatment. Just really finished product. Again, it comes with the box. So if you open it, you still got a really cool display. Um, just really sensible stuff, you know. Sorry, with my hands. <laughs> Next up, the Range Rover. This was actually a gift from Kurt Kohler. I kept walking around this thing billion times and then I bought it in that same week Kurt sent it to me so I thank you there cool Kurt because I got one open now you saw in the video and then um, I was randomly on a trip with a, uh, a lady friend I used to date and uh, we were in Spokane and I didn't even know they sold die cast there but they did and I scored the skyline so the super fast series oh ooh, one more yeah, duh. Really? Yeah. All right, so the Fastback, too. Scored a couple of those. This is around about the time I realized what they were. This was the 50th anniversary. There was also a Target exclusive set that was super fast, but they were all gold. Um, gold like the FAO Schwartz set. So, But had uh, Real Rider wheels on it. So, um... Yeah, man, that's those. Oh, gosh, I got them open right here. So here's a couple of them so you can really see. The door's open on that T1, that glass. Here's the range. The hatch opens on the range. Look at those wheels, man. The Volvo's just downright pretty. <laughs> oh, and dude, I totally skipped over the Premier set. The Premier set was the premium stuff in the 90s, too. So that was 90s, like I showed you with the fire truck. They also made some really cool stuff like this unpainted Boss Mustang. And um, you see it's got the uh, Goodyear's on there and just really cool tree delivery rubber wheels. Uh, back then they were also doing, yeah, this Challenger. Check out this Challenger. And this has working suspension. Really cool car. Great wheels. Great paint. Uh, oh, the two-pack. They had this Ford F-150 two-pack premiere. It was a first edition. So you got the F-150s, and you got the unpainted version, and the black and tan one, pretty popular casting. And, oh gosh, these are some of my favorite. So the 57 Chevys, the opening hoods, moving parts. So this is really their first time, you know, and they had real plates. The plates were a key, too. Finishing the plates. Here's another colorway. Really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Sorry, I have the front end. Oh, there you go. Get my mug out of there. So some great stuff, you know. Matchbox, dude. These guys are cool, so don't sleep. With that, I'm going to fly. You know, show you what I picked up um, at the grocer. Uh, you know, uh, Kitty Corner 2. The shit you buy when the pegs are empty. So... I was able, and you got to be careful when you buy these. The new, the the new version of all that that I just vomited out is called the Matchbox Collector Series. And here's a 35 Ford pickup of the series. Again, the box packaging is obviously changed to Matchbox Collectors, and they did that because it's much more attractive than super fast. It sounds a little juvenile versus collectors it makes it feel more like a collectible, so you might buy it. Um, but they ship them kind of like the transports, where you'll just get a random, not a random number, but a number that's not within that corresponding set. So you've got to keep your eye out. And or just buy them when you see them, because they are really nice pieces. So I found, I stumbled across this one. Didn't have it. Also stumbled across the Subaru SVX. And man, I really am not a fan of Subaru, because they don't make a V8. 
even though all these cars are about to kill the V8, but this one is sick. I'm a fan of this. You could probably fit a V8 in there. And then lastly, the 2016 Stingray. You know I'm a fan of that. Oh, epic. I also found the C10. But um, I had to go see the big homie, big homie Matt. And uh, he had something for me. And this is going to be a little off track, but he gave me one of these. And since we're talking about premium, I think this is just about as premium as it gets. The Elite 64, if you guys don't know already, it's this non-RLC high-end version of premiums for uh, Hot Wheels. Uh, 20 bucks. Anyone can order them. This Toyota Chaser is a really cool example. I mean, you can really see, I mean, the side view mirrors, uh, the, the tail lights, everything. Let me show you guys, sorry. Side, you know, the side view mirrors are finished, the tail lights, everything. Plates, exhaust. They even finished the bottoms, not just some basic stamp. There's your headlights for you. And it's, it's, it's number two because Hot Wheels figured that, um, the larger market of collectors would trip more on the JDM over the Mercedes, which is number one. And I was going to open that, and big homie Matt was kind of laughing at me, but because he, cause he I, I know in his head he was like, I only got you one, fool. You open it. You opened it. So, I didn't open it. I'm not going to, I'm not opening it right now. Because I don't have another one. I think that's sensible as a collector, so... I am looking forward. I hope I get that Mercedes. There's a couple really cool ones down the line if you guys haven't checked. So with that, also back up and click the link over to Matchbox Collectors on the Mattel Creations page. Um, they got some cool stuff, man. That double-decker bus they just did. I think it was a Corgi casting that's updated and upgraded. But, um, oh, man, I, I missed out on that one. Matchbox is a sleeper. So showed you guys those collectors. So with that, I'm going to show you guys what... Um, the two series, because they introduced them in 21 and carried it over to 22. I'm pretty sure they're going to continue it to 2023. But let me show you what I got. Cool. The ones I just showed you are from uh, 20 the, the 2021 collection. Um, 20, yeah, 20, but the, yeah, 2022 collection. Excuse me. Yeah. The, the proof of purchase or the the Mattel uh, rights date is normally a year before it's offered on the show. So first up, well, first up actually in this set would have been, um, which I don't have, or do I have it? Where did it go? What am I missing? Oh, the Dodge Ram, excuse me. So first up would be this Dodge Ram. And I, it's there. It's the same place I bought this. But I did buy this. So there you go. There's a Datsun. JDM boys, eat your heart out. That's number two. Number three. Pagani Waira. Oh my gosh, they did really good. They seem to really like to use these wheels on their premiums, but they work for me. Because they use it also on number four, the Jaguar F-Type. Again, really well-finished vehicles. Number five, the Honda T360. These would be so fun to whip around. It's cool to see all those little pickups making it here in the States and us opening our mind to uh, other vehicles uh between that i think i'm missing one um no, that was number six so number seven yes the dodge charger with the police livery really cool i noticed they didn't finish the headlights on there but they did do a really good job with the tail lights and the plates oh 
Oh yeah, the GT40, one of my absolute favorite cars. Just a car that I'll really put a hurting on a Ferrari. Oh snap, C-Rod, found you one. So I got you my G. I skipped over a whole bunch. Yeah, probably did. Yeah, that's number 13. Sorry. Let me back it up a little bit. To number 11, the uh, NASA SEV Chariot. Really cool car. Unless you think the Earth is flat and all that stuff, you probably don't want that car. Big homie. Number 12, the Beetle, the Moon Eyes livery. It's a cool casting. Strong. This is for the good homie Audrey. Look at this Bronco. Tell me they didn't do a good job with that. Oh, yeah. So that should be up to 14. Yeah. I think in this, like, the, uh, there's, like, a yellow C10 that's number nine. And there is a, uh, oh, there's a uh, MR2. There's an MR2 um, with no variations, but MR2. Missed those, yeah? And then. Didn't miss this, though. Yeah. Diablo to Diablo. That's a cool car. I got one in a Hot Wheels package from 90s, but obviously this one is much, much better. Updated tooling, rubber wheels. Couldn't let this Savoy slide by either. Really cool casting. And then lastly, from that set, as far as what I have, um, is number 18, the Miata. And behind that would have been number 19, the Vet. Number, uh, yeah, number 19, the Vet. And then we also had in those that series the... Wait, was that it? The vet? No, no, no. I'm confused. I need some more tea. Man, it's looking like it's getting cold outside. Gosh. You guys are dog owners. So you guys are doing that challenge. Picture of your dog and then a picture of what your dog was named after. I'm not doing that. The chain messages and mail and stuff are gnarly to me. But I don't mess with that stuff. Um, obviously I mess with die cast. So let's get back to the show. Boom. Number one. This is a strong casting. The uh, Land Rover. Convertible. I'm missing, a I'm missing like five or six in this set, but I will get them. I will get them. Let's stack them here. That's number one. Number two, my favorite. The O2. Well, it's a 2002 is the model. 69 BMW. these in order before I shelf them. Um, I'm missing number three, which is a, another C10 by accident. It's a yellow one. Number four, though. I8. Really weird color for a BMW I8, I think. I feel like it's such a futuristic car. It should have that deep futuristic kind of paint, but I'm not a designer and or um 
really don't care. I'd just drive the car if I could. Oh, this is where I missed out. Because this is number six. So number five was the um, Lamborghini the, uh, Centario. Should have got it. Actually, I didn't see it. But I did see this, and I was just like, okay, you're going to collect all these, because they're that cool. And I'm not a Gasser fan, but this Henry J. Gasser caught my eye. There seems to be a lot of orange going on at this time period. So there was that. Um, there was that. And then there's this, the, uh, the uh, Ranger, orange. But a pretty good example of a 64 scale Ranger. I'm going to miss one in here in between. This is the Beetle. Which was maybe purple, though. There was a Beetle in between, but now here you go, number 10. They've done a lot with this casting. The G-Wagon. G500, to be exact. If that's number 10, this has got to be number 11. And it is your FJ Cruiser. Again, a cool, great wheel choice, too. Again, not slipping on this. And I got this from Gosh, I can't remember. Someone probably traded someone for this, but it's a really strong one. The Divco milk truck with the uh, golf livery. Not sure why I have the golf livery. I don't know if they raced that truck ever. I don't know anything about it. Uh, that was number 12. Number 13 is the it was kind of the same one from the other series. All right. Oh, it's a, it would be a, another 35 uh, Ford pickup. That's why I left it out. Uh, or 30, 32 Ford pickup, so it's a different year. And then you got your Honda S2000. Pretty cool. We've seen a lot of that casting. I'll have this open, too. The Benz 220E. Wait, my number's right. 14, 15. Really cool moving parts on that one. If you can tell, the door is open. Uh, 16. A lot of Mercedes, Diggy. I love that. There's the uh, convertible. The Cabrio, rather, of G500. 17. The Grand Prix, the Plymouth Grand Prix. I remember one of my dad's friends having one of these. Really cool. Got the fog lights and or signals rather. Oh, I'm reaching. Here's the one I missed out on. Number 18, the Nismo GTR. The GTR with the Nismo package. Again, really cool. Did great on the front end. Really good on the, the back. And let's grab both of these cool. Behind that, number 19, the Alfa Romeo. Julia. That. Oh gosh, I enjoy this car. My gunmetal gray with the the pseudo gold wheels. Then the last one to close out the show is the Scenic Cruiser. And that's a really cool casting with the moon wheels and uh, they did this in the main line. I've got a couple of them and was really stoked to see him in, in that collection but so I got a few I'm missing um, I don't know if you dudes are matchbox collectors and I think I think that's the difference maker I think like uh, everybody's in this Hot Wheels thing super treasure hunt treasure hunts because somebody heard some and you could tell who's not a real collector because they don't drop the other brands that they're a fan of and if they don't buy these other brands then then they're not really a die cast community supporter in my opinion you know um, but, you know, I think Matchbox is a real sleeper. And I think I think it's like a grown man's collectible in that Mattel umbrella. And I mean that by, uh, let me see, how do you say? Um, you know, like, yeah, well, this, this may not directly say it, but like, Jay-Z, on a great, great song, Drop the Bar. 
and it said, I'm old enough to know the right car to buy, but grown enough not to put rims on it. I think that's great. I believe in that. Now, I used to add a bunch of stuff to my cars back in the day. Um, I would do some, some performance stuff because I do understand I could buy base model stuff and add to it, but just, and I think it might be more affordable that way under the insurance zipper. But, uh, but yeah, I think cars, they're all built and there's this co-development factor in it and they're built with that purpose. And I think, you know, um, you don't put rims on it, you know, you let them give you the package that best suits that larger rim and maybe their rims. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, to each their own, that sounds real biased to me. Um, and I don't ever want to be that guy, but the way I look at it is I, I go with it that way, you know, and the same that over it's like the skateboard snowboard industry if I'm if I'm riding a Burton snowboard I'm probably gonna ride Burton bindings and Burton boots because they were all co-developed together they were built to go together um, but I just think that's common sense and sensible and our indoor just makes allows me to not think too hard but um, gosh but I was hoping if you guys are collectors to get back to it uh, maybe some of those numbers I'm missing. What was it like? Number three, nine. I'm missing some of you guys. So so hopefully you watched the video. And if you did and you liked it, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribing. You know? Hit the notifications button. You can put that John on silent, but it'll still notify you. And uh, I, I appreciate that because I am looking to grow this channel and connect with more serious collectors and hopefully I can share some information and get some knowledge from you guys and or um, revamp the hobby or, you know, inject a different kind of energy into the hobby because it's a war out there and it shouldn't be. It should be fun. So hey, man, I'm, uh, we send you guys those full peg vibes, hoping for a great year, 2023, there's some really strong castings coming out, um, again, if you normally hunt in the morning, go hunt in the evening, you got a lunch break, a longer one, go hunt in your lunch break, real collectors or addicts probably do anyways, but um, shake it up. I think you'll find some find some success and don't forget everyone sells die cast now so go to those places you wouldn't normally go because I, I want to hear about what you got and i want to be envious and share how envious i am you know i think that's what this hobby is and i'm really happy that we have a platform where we can all communicate and talk about it and show it all off so with that shout out to everybody um Automotive history and diecast, dude. Shout out to you, Mr. Lamley, dude. I really appreciate the stuff you do, man. Showing out some stuff, dude. To uh, to Task DC, um, Mustang Hunter, dude. You're the Mustang Hunter, man. I, you're one of the OSGs in my hobby. Um, to gosh, uh, I've really been watching a lot of 3D Bot Maker. You know, backyard racing. Gosh, who else have I been on? Um, Creole Diecast, man. I just really like that dude. Um, who else have I been watching? Gosh, so many. Um, oh, the What the Fuck 4? Or WTF 4? He's got a collection. That dude's, that dude's stacked. I'm a little envious, man. Canada, y'all do it right, man. What's up to all my Canadian homies, too? You guys are good. I gotta holler. I gotta, like, figure out... It. It'd be cool to, like, connect and, like, shred or something around Lake, Nels Lake Nelson area when I'm up there, but... Um, if you guys are ever in Montana, holler at me. Give me a little heads up. And if you got any of these Matchbox collectors' numbers that I'm missing, bring them with you. Anyway. Hey, guys. Happy New Year. Wishing you a great year. Um, holla out of play. Peace.